Alright guys, today we are kind of up close and the reason why is because we're going to be trying some makeup that you, get, you need to see up close. So, I have my bangs pinned, I cut bangs into my hair. We don't need to talk about it. We don't need, it, was, it was a moment of weakness. We don't need to talk about it. Also, the red lipstick is because I'm going to a party tonight at my dad's house because um, we're going to be watching the Canadian curling for the Olympics. I know, like, typical Canadian is excited about curling, but I actually am, so don't judge me. Also, I have this cute bear shirt on. Uh, I found it at the lo our local, uh, it's called the DI, but if you're not from Utah, it's like a thrift shop. But I found it in the men's section, and it's just like art camo with like a bear. I don't know why I love it, but I do. But we're going to be trying some fun makeup on. So my stepmom is awesome, and she like orders like makeup boxes whenever she gets something that she's like unsure of or, you know, doesn't want to really use, she'll give it to me. So she gave me these MIA Couture highlighting papers like what they're like papers that you like rub on your face as makeup and i went on their website to like maybe order some more and try some other stuff but it was kind of expensive it was like 18 dollars for like blush papers and then it would have for ordering a whole bunch of stuff it would have been like a little expensive for things that i'm like iffy about like paper makeup i don't know but i did actually just find out that they sell it at walmart so I thought this would just be fun. Let's try out the highlighter. So, you know, she, my stepmom is vegan. So I'm assuming these are like vegan, cruelty-free, every, you know, that kind of makeup. Um, so how to use Pat Sweet Blend pigmented side of paper to desired areas of face and body or create the motion that works best for your skin type. Okay, so I pulled it up on Walmart, not their website, because I wanted to see, you know, best price. So the highlighting paper comes with 30 of these papers, and it's $9.26. So it's actually not bad on, like, the actual website. I think they were, like, $18, a little more expensive. But, yeah, Walmart's a little cheaper. But, you know, if you're traveling for a day and you want to do, like, minimal packing and you don't wear a ton of makeup, these might be kind of nice. So I wanted to try them out, at least for traveling. Portable highlighter delivers that lit from within luminous glow without a single brush stroke. Recyclable, recycle, recyclable, biodegradable, recommended for free of claims, free of tell, anyway, free of all this like garbage that we should be putting on our face. So I'm going to try the lighter one. I have the darker one in St. Bart's. And then I have the lighter one in Crystal Cove, and we are going to try the Crystal Cove. Now, when I went on their website, it basically just says Pat Sweet Blend. So this is just going to be like a learning experience. Oh, this one is really pretty. So I'm not really sure how to use it, but I have no highlighter on today. So what did it say on the back? Pat Sweet Blend? Pat Sweet Blend. So I'm just going to go in. Let's zoom you guys in a little closer so we can like really see how this works so I'm just gonna like pat it where I want it ah, I'm scared okay or like sweep it oh whoa 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 okay we're gonna sweep it so obviously you can see it's not the best okay now let's blend maybe blend with our finger that's not bad Let's try the other side. I'm just gonna kind of sweep it instead of pat it. Oh, like pat like this, okay. Pat it where I want it. I like that idea, because then you can kind of use the paper to blend. Oh, that's not bad. It's not like a bling highlighter. Let's put some on my nose. I mean, it's getting all over my fingers. But I don't know if it's like done being used. I don't know. Okay, so not bad. This is not bad. It's got no glitter in it, which I like. Let's just go in and do more. Okay, okay, so doubling it up. Yep, I mean, we're getting glowy. Okay, so here's what I will say. I can see the convenience of it, and it does look prettier in the camera than it does in person because I feel like it has lifted a lot of my blush that was on that side. 
it's lifted a little bit. It's not bad though. And then the only thing I don't like is, I mean, I guess the convenience of this is to like travel with, right? So you wouldn't want brushes. So you just kind of want to pat it in. Let's spray it with some, you know, like stuff. Ooh, let's see if that kind of makes it melt into the skin more. Okay, so that is an intense highlight now. I just intensified it, which is what I kind of wanted to do. Okay, it does kind of get off, give off that slightly wet look, which I love. I mean, I don't know, we'll have to see. I guess like the other thing I could see is, let's say you just have, sometimes there's that skin that like absorbs makeup. So you'll do like flawless and then you'll go to work and it's like, your makeup's gone. You don't know where it went. So I could see like getting the blush and just being like quick touch up or like if you're like, traveling but you want to keep it super minimal in your suitcase i mean it's really really thin and if you just want like a little bit of makeup i could totally see that i haven't played around with a blush and bronzer so i can't say how well that is i'm going to actually check in i'm gonna see if this stays on or if it just like goes away let's come back in a little bit i have to go to my kids basketball games but i will be back in a couple hours and we'll see how it has worn okay see you guys in a little bit all right guys, I am back. You know that it has been time if my hair is up in a ponytail, it's been a couple hours, my hair is up in a ponytail and lipstick's off because that's how it always happens. I always start my hair with my, my day with my hair down and like lipstick on and looking good. And then like halfway through the day, it's like, oh, screw it. Ponytail, lipstick off, right? Okay, so I really like this highlighter. Ah, I hate saying that. It seems like such an odd concept to have like paper that you blot on your face, but the reason why, I don't know if it's just this highlighter, but it gives like this beautiful wet look to your skin with no glitter and I really like it. And I love, I don't know if I love to be honest, the concept of it being on a, on a paper or if I just actually like the highlight. I actually like the highlight. I'm not too totally sold on the paper concept, except for traveling. Like I'm gonna be traveling in a little bit. It would be nice just to like, throw in a tiny little, you know, and not into my bag and not take up any space in my luggage. So I actually kind of like it. Um, I don't know if they're selling it at Walmart in stores or if it's just online, but it is cheaper at Walmart online, I know, than the actual, um, is it Mia? M-A-I Couture. I don't know how the other makeup works out, but I really enjoy this highlighter. And again, the one I'm wearing is Crystal Cove. So yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just a nice quick one, but I hope you guys still enjoyed it. All right, I will see you in my next video.